Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Hey, Cragger. God, thanks for <laughs> thanks for fifteen months of subs, dude. That's that's crazy. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Friday night. It's good to see you. It's good to be seen. I still still beardless. It hasn't come back yet. In case anybody was wondering. But yeah. Um. Ta da. I've been wanting to do this one for a really long time. If we can be honest, I've had, I've had the long dark. God, I got the long dark. I think the the during the winter sale. That it was that it was first around, which was back in like twenty fifteen, I think, and I played sandbox mode a bunch, uh, real early on. <clears throat> I didn't get very far in it. I was never particularly good at it, uh, and then. Yeah, just didn't play it again after that. So since then, they've added... Well, here, let me, here we go. Since then, they've, they've added three episodes to their story mode. I forget if it's supposed to be like four or five total. Um, what are you doing? This menu's trying to get away from me. Um, yeah, I, for, I forget how many it's supposed to be total, but I haven't checked out any of them. So I'm really interested, how long and dark is it now? Not very, see? It goes right back to sunshiny and happy and everything, but hey, Absol, how you doing, buddy? But we're gonna find out tonight, we're gonna find out for sure. Um, so yeah, plan for tonight, since I, I didn't know if the internet was going to behave or not, uh, is to just play Long Dark, see how far, I, I doubt we'll get past episode one, but we'll see what it's all about, what it's like. Um, yeah, if if the long dark cannot hold our attention for the entire night, I've got other things that we can play. And in fact, there is another game that I, I got a review key for today that I'm probably gonna reserve the last like 30 minutes or so to check out, if nothing else. So, But we'll play it by ear. Um, it, this is a very slow game. I don't know if story mode is any quicker or uh, more engaging, but this is a very, very slow-paced survival game. I like survival games a lot. Um, I feel like I should like this one more than I did. I recognize it's a very good game, but it never really gripped me the way something like Subnautica did. So, but I mean, in retrospect, it's kind of hard to live up to Subnautica. It got so many things right about the survival genre that other games don't, so. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get into it. Let us do this thing. So, originally Long Dark just launched with survival mode. They wanted, they wanted it to mainly be a narrative experience. Winter Mute, the story mode, was always their main objective, but they launched uh, early access with survival mode to kind of get feedback on the mechanics, and it seems like that became the popular mode for it. That's what The Long Dark is best known for. I've heard mixed things about the story, so that's another reason I wanted to revisit it. Artie Smokey, what's up? What happened to your face? It's, it's a long story. Um, I saved a bunch of orphans from... <laughs> no, uh, I shaved on, on Sunday. And then, mysteriously, all my internet problems cleared up, so you never know. Okay, so yeah, they, they intend five episodes. 
Episode one, do not go gentle. Oh, I never do. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores a small town in Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Uh, later on, maybe we'll check out the descriptions for episodes two and three. But for now, let's do this. Uh, let's see. Uh, capable survivor. For players with some experience and those looking for a balance between exploration and survival. Wildlife is sparse, but can seek you out. Survival elements are challenging, but resources are plentiful. I think I can do capable. I have played this before. Obviously not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not very hardened. <laughs> yes! He fell for it, chat. Uh, name story. Uh... It's a story. Okay. They got some sweet ass music in this. There is this big splash when you start the game about how they explicitly did not model the, the wildlife to be realistic because I guess a lot of people complain that wolves don't act like the wolves in this game but I think it's funny that there's a thing at the very like before any of the logos or anything there's a, there's a disclaimer screen like yeah we know just roll with it so hey Rask hey Bacon what's up guys perfect timing I think, Smokey, I think they just got a lot, just, you know how the Steam community can be. They'll notice a thing and they will just comment on it incessantly. And I think that was the big thing with the long dark is that wolves don't, wolves don't really attack people. They don't like to bother people. But the ones in this game will fuck you up. Hardcore. Oh, I want to be them. I either want to be them or my best, I want them to be my bestie. Reading Aliens comics from the old day. Which ones are you reading, Bacon Copter? I read a ton of Aliens comics back in the day. The old uh, Dark Horse ones, right? Favorite survival game is The Forest, because survival isn't survival unless you're willing to eat your neighbor. I've always wanted to play The Forest. I kind of spoiled it for myself. I watched, uh, I watched a streamer play it, and I watched them beat it, so I know where the story goes in that one. It's really cool. Is that a... Oh yeah, it's a bridge. Plowing through the omnibuses, right? The wolves in oblivion barked, which is even worse. Attended the Bakerland Awards Symposium today. Rask, what was that an award for? I am unfamiliar with that one. I did read Labyrinth. Labyrinth is stuck in my head because that one is that one is twisted. The gore in that is just on another level. Wolves don't bark, do they? They tend, they howl. Astrid. Oh, it has a new ending, multiple endings. Oh, cool. Oh God. Oh. Oh, you should. Mm. That's a hell of a way to start your game. Man, don't worry about Astrid. Worry about your hand, bro. I like the Alien vs. Predator vs. Terminator because I have bad taste, but don't care. Dude, that was the point of those old comics, was to just make things, like, as kitschy and crazy as possible. Wasn't there a, like, wasn't there a Batman versus the Predator comic? Jackrabbit hang hanger. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. The Joker. No, it's a wolf. Hang on a sec. It reset my key bindings, but it didn't uninvert my mouse. Yeah, the last time I played this, I still played with inverted mouse. Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Nah, just knock back a bunch more of that caribou. On YouTube, look up Batman Dead End. It's an awesome short film based on Batman vs. Zalem vs. Predator. Okay, I'm totally gonna do that. Alright, uh... Jay, for more info on your stuff. What I know. Actions, journal objectives. Stuff and things. I don't have any maps. I don't have any memories. Wait, what was that? Okay. It's crafting. 
Inventory. Oh, we're cute. We look like a little paper doll. So these these are the these are the bars you have to take care of in this game. Coal, your temperature, your fatigue, your thirst, and your hunger. And they go all the way down to measuring it by calories and degrees in terms of air temperature and wind chill, if you've never played this before. Alright. Oh, interesting. Okay. Sp space bar brings up the uh, radial menu. That's cool. Um, give me matches. Give me phone. Give me liquor. Give me not. Maybe not. Okay. Boy, I'd forgotten what the art style in this game was like. Use print. Give it. Can be used as tinder. Photo? Oh, hello. Uh, a rare McKenzie family. What's up, Dev? Yeah, nice beard, isn't it? It's great. Miss you, Dev. As ridiculous as possible, yeah. We almost make a symphony of death, so he needs an alien to record it killing things. <laughs> More RAM, obviously. All right, we will start a fire. All right, so ah, okay. I think we need we need fuel. All right, tinder plug, small plug or bundle of flammable material. Probably not the kind of plug y'all are used to, but this will be very very important. Cedar firewood. Cedar burns with an aromatic glow, but doesn't burn for long. Great Bear Island. Dad What's used to fly there all the time. What's so great about it? It used to be beautiful. Not much reason to go there these days. Can't cook pot. The quakes and all. I am not even listening to you, bro. All right, so now we should be able to start a fire. Okay, so. I'm gonna use the newsprint. So to, for a fire, you need a starter, like matches or a lighter. You need tinder, something that burns easily. Uh, dry twigs, paper, um, tinder plugs made specifically for that, and then fuel, which is generally gonna be pieces of wood. Accelerant is optional. That's stuff like um, kerosene, light, uh, lighter fluid and stuff. What's it about? The longest night ever. You also only have a chance of starting a fire based on your skill, I guess? I can't remember if you actually have a skill for it or not, or if it's just dependent on the items you're using. Everything in this game has progress meters, so be prepared for that. Other people, other people can catch fire. Hey, Silver Mike, what's up, buddy? There we go, I did it. All right, uh, now I'm intent on inspecting the hangar. Okay, so you can see in the bottom left, my bars. Everything goes down slightly unless you're doing something to influence it. My temperature is currently going up right now because I'm standing in front of a fire. So, but I should be fine. Wow, there's progress bars for opening doors. This sure is an airplane. Most impressed by the lighting rendered in the art style, of course. It is, isn't it? Well, here we are, old girl. This the is. Flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. Aww. And anyways. Oh my God. You're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Watch out what you wish, wish for. Um, this is one of those games that I feel like really like has like the perfect art style for what they're trying to accomplish. Okay, so here's an example. We find an item that we can't use on its own, but we can break it down into components that can be useful. So this cardboard box, we can turn into a tinder plug, but it's gonna take us 12 minutes. And since, since the game is speeding forward when we do that, it also tells you how many calories it's going to use during that time. So I'm gonna break it down. You also have the option of using a tool to speed it up. Uh, and some breakdowns like that. Oh, look at this. It's cute. New chocolate bar. Chocolate and nuts. Chocolate, almonds, sugar, salt, natural flavors. Wow, that's... Has the least chemicals of any candy bar I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know that was legal. Oh, I guess this is Canada. 
pretty late in the day. I guess I could take a nap. You might as well. Jackrabbit remote transport. Zero <laughs> flights a day to the mainland communities and well, anywhere really. You're tired, take a nap. My objective is to take a nap. Damn, I was right. Pipes froze up again. Can't open any of this stuff. Cheap electric crap. Cheap. Never works when you need it. I'm just I'm so used to filling my inventory in this game with everything I can find that it's just like I just want to check everything. Reclaimed wood. You can break down furniture to make pieces of wood that you can uh, start a fire with. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. He must be a climate denier. <clears throat> Do you actually need furniture? No. Not really. <laughs> furniture is optional. Ring a ling a ling. Who could that be? Well, now it's dark. So we got the dark part at least. Ring a ling a ling. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport. Mackenzie speaking. Whoa, well, slow down, Moody. What are you talking about? Sorry, I thought I turned on subtitles. I'll check it again after this cutscene. It's okay, Moody. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since. I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well, what brings you? I mean, are oh. you sick? Awkward. <laughs> no, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after. Why are you here? She just I need told your you. Help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since. I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie. Look. Will. I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? <laughs> What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look. The weather out there is bad. Bad. When it's getting worse. It's a bomb. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. <laughs> okay. Astrid. You can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you going to take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. She's pronoun gaming the shit out of this guy. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. <laughs> you don't know anything. You're right. I have no collected knowledge at all. I don't know anything. He didn't tell me anything, dick. 
World record for absolute altitude achieved by a helicopter, 12,442 meters. Wow. enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. Oh, she's already, too heavy she's already in the plane. Fuel before we it's kind of funny. There. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Select extra cargo optional. Really? Take your parka. Take your parka, genius. Um, okay. Not a roguelike! Hey! You're number one! What's up, buddy? It's good to see you. What do I want to take? Emergency food, first aid, distress pistol. Well, we have to... <laughs> Let's just take everything except our hard case. That <laughs> should be great. Cracker, thanks for the bits. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, I I appreciate. It. Take a switch. Doesn't seem like she'll be much fun. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess those are the options. Um, I'm gonna take energy bars, purification tablets, breakfast of champions, emergency food. Astrid's a doctor, so we're covered there. First aid. Uh, probably best to have some extra meds just in case. The mysterious case. Everything is five kilograms. Asper definitely doesn't want to talk about what's inside. Which means he's probably not supposed to have it. What do you suppose could be in here that she would be that hard up about talking about? Astrid's traveling pretty light. Wherever she's going, she must not be planning to stay long. Can't buy bits in Japan yet. Are you serious? I had no idea. Shake it around and bounce it off the floor. Cocaine. The distress pistol kit is heavy, but I'd hate to end up in an emergency situation without it. It's no he heavier than anything else. Oh no, I'm at risk for sprains. Oh, it'll be fine. Everything will be great. Uh, just put, just put all your. Just, just, Oh, okay, you can't fit everything in there. All right, I'll carry Astrid's crap. We'll keep the rest in the plane. Okay, can we leave? Can we go? Oh shit, Dev, thanks for the bits, buddy. Very much appreciated. Okay. All right, can I, can I go yet? Load Astrid's gear. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of lame, but okay. I'll take the food and this. Just need to grab my there. parka. We can go. Okay, give me the damn parka. Give it. Okay. This is a great idea. This is a great idea. There's some snow to deliver, but there's snow outside. You need to do drugs. <laughs> They are going north of Canada, that's right. We're in what? Your ring. Our ring. Oh. I said I was gonna check the subtitles, didn't I? I just forgot to take it off. I wear mine too. Why? Memories, I guess. I thought you wanted to forget. Not all of it. I've flown in a little tiny airplane like this once and I hated it. I, I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. I've moved on. You get to speak to the sure. professor who mentored two Nobel laureates today. Wow, that's nice. You still working with that researcher, Dr. What's his name? Dr. What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? The center. I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. <laughs> question your life choices, Mackenzie. <laughs> Plenty of things you Free, can do on free Freelance doctor. doctor. Yeah, that's legit. Drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot Don't of judge. And it's under control. I know, okay? Uh, I'm not here to fight, really. <laughs> Keep picking them. What's in the case?
animation in this is fantastic. What I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. But you don't have to. Let's just not. No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's. Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. <laughs> What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Will? Well. Yes, yeah, some some kind of EMP. Presumably. And now with him pushing her from the plane going home. <laughs> He's probably wishing he did that right about now. Ah, we have to see this shit again. Mm. Ah, it makes me all tingly. Ah. Must have gone right through the windshield. Yep. Trees broke by fall. Mostly. Yep, that's a crash. Use first aid to stop the blood. I'm bleeding. Oh Christ, I'm bleeding. Um. Okay, hang on. I think we want to first aid. Bandage. <laughs> Plane crash injuries. Oh God. We've got foot and hand pain, sprained wrist, sprained ankle, and blood. Right, thank you. Thank you, Silver Mike. Much appreciated. Um, no, audio? No. Display? Yeah, why were subtitles off? Okay. All right, there we go. Yeah, he should be dead right now. Okay, um, try to climb out of the ravine. Excellent idea. I'm all for that. Um, where's your parka, bu buddy? Uh, okay. Ow. Everything hurts. These fires to melt snow, cook food, and keep from freezing to death. Alright. Hey, it's a bed. Okay, so we need to... Here we go. God, shut up. It's not that big a deal. You'll be fine. Um, fire. Yeah, no kidding. Fire. I need tinder. So I guess I just lost all my stuff. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna gather up some junk. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, not right now. Not while I'm, not while we're freezing to death. Yeah, I don't have time to break stuff down in the freezing cold. All right. All right. So I guess we can't really run. Okay. So let's do this. All right. Make it there. There we go. Um, cool. It's better have a stealth box segment. Unfortunately, the boxes in this game are not that useful. Come on. Come on. I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. I mean, you're not actually that tired. But my objective is to sleep in the cave. Okay, this is one thing I kind of don't care for in really any kind of game is like these super gran granular objectives. Astrid hasn't come looking for me. Which means she can't come looking for me. 
because she's hurt. Or worse. I'd better get back up to the crash site. All right, so now we climb out of the ravine. Um, we need something to drink, though. I'm gonna need that. Um, nine minutes, thirty calories. Do that. Cause she got her briefcase and walked away like a jerk. She would do that, wouldn't she? Damn it, Astrid. Crate. I think I need to be moving around out here. I'm just gonna pick up the stuff I can. Ah, uh, searching stuff, I love it. Snappy! Let's see, uh, let's... What's my button for, okay, that's crouch. I want, I want a food. I want to eat a thing. Here we go. Drink it! So items, items in this game, like food items, they have, you can kind of see it, they have calorie values, they have weight, they also have quality. Um, the, main, the main feature of quality is for stuff that expires, it's kind of representative of how long you've got until it's no longer edible, usable. Uh, yep. So I think this is what kind of first attracted me to this game. It's basically just like a Fallout style loot game where you just <laughs> hoover up all the stuff you can find. Uh, okay, well, we ain't going that way. Lucky we landed, like, right the hell here. Climb out. Oh, 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 I see it. Grab a few more sticks. Uh, apparently you can't jump in this game. Because spacebar just brings up the radio menu. It's a bit of a surprise. I could probably climb that. Great. Ooh, I see fruits and stuff up there. That's not anything. Too cold to think. <laughs> not too cold to complain, though. A big whiner. <clears throat> I've never been so hungry in my life. Well, perfect timing. I'm gonna eat some hips. <laughs> Fruit of a wild rose bush can be used to make a tea that helps manage pain. Pink rose hips. Pick rose hips and craft them into a pain killing tea. I'm guessing I'm gonna need to make another fire for that. Oh, I need more rose hips so I can prepare them and then, yeah, and then boil them. Yeah, I notice it most in. Um, I notice it most in horror games. When they just, they can't resist being like, objective, go to kitchen. Objective, answer phone. Objective, look for your sister. Like, you should be designing your game in a way where you don't have to constantly be annoying the player with like every stupid little task you expect them to do. Like games used to be designed like that. They used to be designed they used to be designed to just direct you organically towards your next goal without having to like explicitly tell you your objectives. How deep do you have to dig for diamonds? We're not gonna be digging anything, we're gonna be scavenging. So, hopefully we'll find some conflict diamonds around here somewhere. Canadian conflict diamonds. Finally made it. Barely. Alright, I have harvested the shit out of these things. 
You hear me clattering around? I think that's the uh, I think that's the wood in my pack. So let's see if we can find a good spot for a fire. Get something out of the way. My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Ha 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 ha. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Canada is the main source for eth ethically sourced diamonds. I did not know that. So do I still have? I think we skipped that. Uh, I think we skipped the tea brewing objective. Uh, cloth, soda. I've been looking for you. <laughs> oh yeah, sweet parka. Uh, radio menu. Status? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm freezing. I'm at risk of hypothermia. Okay. Oh, I'm cute. Okay, so that'll help keep me from freezing completely to death. Back. I'm gonna go through all her shit. New granola bar. Worn fleece mittens. Ooh, antibiotics. That'll come in handy. I don't remember the button. Okay, we're wearing those now. So, um... Clothing has a warmth rating a windproofness rating, a waterproofness rating, protection rating. You can't really see this because my dumb face is in the way. Sprint, uh, if it affects your ability to sprint. Quality, and then weight. Quality directly affects the other stats. Like these mittens are roughly half as effective as they would normally be. So if I found like a pair of mittens in perfect condition, they'd protect against like half a degree instead or so. Remember by videos I watch about physical security, you buy a bunch of yellow reflective vests and white hard hats online. <laughs> you drain a, a maple syrup without anybody noticing. Very carefully. I think there's a payday mission about that. Give me a damn hard case. I mean, it's obviously the combination. Locked. Just try it. Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. Astrid probably died for, it. died for it. <laughs> Where would she be, buddy? Where would she be? Here's the plane. We ended up below. I don't see her corpse around here anywhere, so. Like, if she got popped out of this airplane, she would have grabbed that case first thing. We're talking about maple syrup so smuggling out. Don't let me stop you. Please. Please continue. Reclaimed wood. A flare shell. Wait, what? She's my flare gun. Excellent. Oh wow, they actually modeled the whole thing. That's cool. Uh, I don't need to do that right now. Give me all your junk. Now what's this? A flare. An actual flare. I sure pointing that. Our cell does kind of look like Firewatch, doesn't it? I mean, this this came way, like, way earlier. Um, I guess we can... What do we got? I guess we can drink this. Uh, and I guess we can eat this. Munch, 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 munch. <clears throat> can make a big maple popsicle since it's cold enough. That sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think I'm on the verge of death. So let's make a fire. Let's make a... Let's... 
Let's make... Let's make fire! I can make a fire right here. Let's do it. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Really liked Firewatch. I wish I'd taken more pictures in that game and got the real things back when they were doing that. Oh, they that was that was like a promotion they did. That's really cool. I watched. Come on. Okay, that failed. So I I believe I lost some of the resources. To do that? Yeah, I lost that tinder plug. I lost a match and a, and a tinder plug. I kept the firewood, because I guess it didn't catch. So let's try that again. Yeah, I watched my buddy Captain Swing play most... No, I watched him play all of Firewatch. And it struck as a, as a fantastic game. I was so Come impressed on. with the storytelling in that. God damn it. Seriously, now. Firewatch hits a bit too close to uh, tone for me, but seemed cool. Yeah, that was the thing about it. It was so, like, the story was ultimately so grounded and so identifiable. Man, the opening to that game messed us up. Like, right. se seriously. It's so effective in portraying like the emotions that's trying to get across. All right, um, I need water, which we will put. Okay, so we'll melt, we'll melt some snow. How long does it take for minutes to pass? Okay, it's just a couple seconds per minute. <clears throat> yes, start of fire watch is intensely brutal. Cousin died fighting fires in Washington like four. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, that must have been tough then. Goodness. I thought the ending was really mature. Like, oh, dude, I completely agree. It really frustrated me how many people came out against the ending of Firewatch. Because I guess because they were expecting something more like supernatural. Or, I think a lot of them were just expecting, like, a conventional happy ending. Whereas, like, the end of Firewatch is just, that's life. Like, that's, that's how these two people with their issues and their problems and, like, honestly, the poor ways they tried to deal with them, how that would have ended up. I, like, I, I thought it was a very illuminating game. When considering, like, the relationships people with, with, that, with that kind of history would have. Yeah. Yeah, I completely agree. Forest fires specifically. Man. I can't imagine. I'm an only child, so I literally can't imagine. <clears throat> Firewatch is probably your second or third favorite game of all time. Hell of a curveball, and there's nothing I like more than being set up and not realizing. Okay. All right, so we made unsafe water. So we're gonna... Oh, it's a cooking... Oh, 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 this is what we need to do. Okay. Uh, water. We want boil water. Uh, it's gonna take 19 minutes. I'm gonna cook it. After Turian FTL. Put me in the group that hated the ending. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those. I mean that's it's fair. I'm not I'm not gonna fault anybody for for their opinion of it. I mean I can I can totally see disliking it if if you're one of those people that was led to believe the game would be something other than it was. Kind of what happened with some people with with the more reasonable detractors of Gone Home. Um or if if you just wanted like a like a lighter, more you know, I don't want to say gratifying, but something more uplifting at the end. <clears throat> Snort the water to get high. I think the only walking sim I like as much as Firewatch with Edith Finch. I need to play that one. 
very much. I can't, I think I have it. I'm, I might have it, I don't remember. FTL is really good. FT, FTL was good enough that it became like the template for a lot of games that followed it. Like abandoned ship, a lot, a lot of the elements in abandoned ship of managing, managing your crew and combat are pretty directly lifted from FTL, and that that's a good thing because that game had excellent systems. Okay, potable water. Um. Okay. All right, we're gonna take it, and then we're gonna. Uh, no, I want to. Okay, so we have potable water now. I want to prepare rose hips, which is going to take a while, and hopefully my fire won't go out, because I think I have to boil these. Okay. And then, oh, add fuel, there we go. Okay. So that's going to burn for 12 minutes. Um, prepared rose, time to cook 12 minutes, do it. It says 13 minutes until ready, whatever. Ah, 10 minutes, no. Uh, add fuel. Uh, uh, give me a stick. There we go, perfect. Okay. Book burner censorship, yeah. Mackenzie's a, na a Nazi. I forgot to tell you guys. I thought you'd cancel the stream if I told you. Ending of Vanishing, Ethan Carter left me depressed for a couple days. Yeah, Ethan Carter is pretty brutal. Um, I liked I liked Ethan Carter a lot. I totally get why people didn't though. That that ending is a pretty serious punch in a couple ways. It takes you a while to understand strategy games. I can only play Invisible Ink and understand it. Strategy game strategy games can have a pretty pretty steep learning curve. I played a lot over the years. So it's not too hard for me to come to grips with these things, but yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna drink this right now. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, I'm warming up. Oh, I'm actually in like good shape for once. Anyone ever cry at the end of a game? Yes, I did. Um, the Talos Principle. The ending of that game, literally, I am not making this up, literally brought me to tears. Because of how, well, I'm not going to say anything about why, but yeah, I, I thought the ending to the Talos Principle was absolutely fantastic. Uh, uh, okay. Kind of okay there. To the Moon got you. I should give To the Moon another try sometime. Because I, I played it, I tried playing it a long time ago, and I honestly didn't care for it very much. I, I think at the time I was kind of disappointed at the gameplay, and so I wasn't really paying as much attention to the narrative as I should have. So I do, I kind of feel like, am I going back down the way I came? I think I am. I don't know how, but... I'd be the guy and take the heat. I hate it to the moon. <laughs> I mean, it's good though. It's good that we have such diverse points of view here. It's good to not just agree on everything. Because then we can discuss. We can discuss the finer points of these things. Like why, why some games work for some people and didn't for others. Didn't like the game play, but the story you did like. Yeah, I think, I think I'll have to give that another try. Make it a point to just get further into the gameplay itself. Or, further into the story. I think I wanted to go... Yeah, I wanted to go this way. She definitely passed through here. I did a hurry. Alright. Sprinting can help you escape bad weather or dangerous predators. Great. Jingle jangle. Jokes on me, I can't time out Gnarl. <laughs> Should invite to the libertarians for no, like it's it's good that we have different educated opinions is what I'm saying. 
Like, you gotta, you gotta draw the line somewhere, because some conversations are just not... <laughs> Find equipped small stones to throw at rabbits to stun them? We're doing what now? I make so much noise when I walk. So wait, is that my objective now? Do you want me to kill a rabbit? Is that what you're telling me? What am I vegetarian? An ivory tower elitist. Yeah, that's me. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. We'll be, we'll be fine. Is this? Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid? Um, maybe. Kill a little bunny. Can't fathom a mindset where you intrinsically trust corporations to do good. Yeah, seriously. Not after ev everything. <laughs> I should shoot them with a distress pistol. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going. We're going bunny hunting. By popular demand. Wow, good throw, idiot. Every neck warship down. I can't do that. I can't I can't do that. I'm I'm sure we'll find some food up ahead somewhere. I I love I love that when you put the rabbit back down you pet it. Respect the principal decision to starve. Where'd you go? <laughs> Otters would die. No, I absolutely would. I absolutely would die if I was stranded in the wilderness. I would not be able to. Is that a wolf? Oh, is that a wolf? I better keep my distance. Okay. Millennials are so weak. I can eat a horse. Not a rabbit, a horse specifically. So we're gonna hold out for the horse here. Oh, there's some kind of tower over there. It's gonna get dark, and I don't want to be out after dark. Looks like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. Now you're gonna find yourself Black Beauty or see this getting cut its throat. I have have any of y'all eaten horse before? Because not not only have I eaten horse, I've eaten raw horse. While I was in Japan. I've had horse sashimi. Really good. <laughs> really, really good. I've eaten at McDonald's. <laughs> Can't really top that, can I? <laughs> yeah, it was it was shockingly good. I would I would eat I would eat a horse anytime. Uh, radio tower this way. Yeah, no kidding. Thanks for the heads up. Excuse me.
Hopefully there's like a little shed or something with it. That's where the McRib comes from. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure McRibs are grown in laboratories. Uh, here's a... Well, okay, it doesn't do anything. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, uh, oh. Great, a town. Nice. Maybe I can find help there. Okay. Okay, we're... F Whoa. Someone's just sitting here. Frozen. What the hell? Well, that's creepy. Also, there's a house with the uh, lights on down there. I want to check that out. Painkillers! Oh, nice. Kills dead person. Yeah, that... Now, there's a neck I'll snap. I'll snap... I'll snap all of them necks. Just not... Not the bunny. I mean, the dude just... Did just pull, like... A six-inch shard of metal out of his hand. You know? He's looking for his ex-wife, who may or may not be dead. Splattered all over the Canadian wilderness. McRibs are made from people, but at least it's not soylent. At least they found a way to make it appetizing. Nice thing you tell a corpse is empty. You just, you, you just gotta tap on them. See if they make that hollow sound. <laughs> Look. Smoke from that chimney. Oh my god. That means someone's old. Hopefully they're not like a Fallout style raider either. Oh my god. Well, this place just looks great. Hello? Anyone out there? Anybody home? Okay, I can't get in there. Can I get in any of these? <laughs> This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. We'll go in here. Uh, okay, we won't go in here. I need a light source. <clears throat> let's go... Let's go to the occupied house first. Because it is... I mean, what, what time is it? Do I know what time it is? Middle of the damn night is what it is. Anything in the mailbox? No. It's not that fallouty. All McDonald's food is filled with gross shit, but the fries are so good. Mm. Definitely not my favorite fries. I do like McDonald's fries, but I think that's because I grew up on them. Uh, Anybody here? Hi. Hey. Hey, wake up. She's gonna shoot you. Holy shit! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. O okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? Graham Graham's pissed. <laughs> Saw him a sovereign citizen. I missed the flag with the gold fringe on the way in. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. Unclean. I haven't seen her. Well, yeah, obviously. Listen, could you maybe point? She that said it. I didn't. Else? You think because my eyes are covered, I can't see you? Make the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. Yeah. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. Hmph. 
Oh, so we're, we're word clouding this. Town, gun, who are you? Who are you? Name's McKenzie. Just got your beard in the mail today. Thanks again. No problem, buddy. I think you're going to need it more than I will. I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. The name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. Chris Avalon write this? So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Hi, right, Rask. It was good to see you. Uh, oh, so tomorrow night, since internet, internet, I think internet is fixed. I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it by saying it too loud, but I think we're good, guys. So tomorrow night, I'm going to go ahead and do PS2 Shmup Night. We're finally going to play R-Type Final and Gradius 5. And then next week, we're back on. Um, I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna do Metal Wolf Chaos on Monday, and then probably Wednesday as well to go ahead and pow power through it. Um, I want to talk to you guys about that. Uh, since we're good, we can go ahead and reschedule uh, Ring Fit Hell Night. If you guys want to do next Friday, a week from today, I'm game. Um, but I will post after tonight's stream. I will post in Hell Chat. And to check when you, with you guys when when's best for you. I want to make sure that everybody that donated to the cause is going to be there for it. Um, and that, you know, all the Hell Knights and everybody are also kind of on board. So, Wish I had my R-Type Final Ghost Ship password to give you to fly against. Oh, that would be really cool. The AI, the AI battles in that game were a pretty neat idea. A forgotten town deep in the mountains. You're far from home. Yeah, no kidding. Where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the Recommend Siren for Retro Nights. Now, Ooh, that'd be a struggle. It's almost impossible to get to. That's a tough ass game. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? Not a rogue. Like we're gonna do ghost ship sometime. What I need. I, I need to. Re I need to revisit At that least one. I did before the bad man came. The bad man. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. Sounds like a side quest, I need Bruin. To find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp. Others, like a dream. Let me. Think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. So years ago, actually, I watched a I watched uh, an LP, a Let's Play of Siren, and yeah, if if. If, if we were to do like a 100% playthrough, I would absolutely need a walkthrough because some of the stuff you have to do in that game is borderline nonsensical. Sitting here with a rifle in your hand. Siren 2 may work on it as well. You expecting trouble? Trouble. <laughs> trouble found me. Either my cat is sitting on my modem or it's so Oddish. The bad man. The bad man came. The bad man. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe because Grey Mother can't see. Now she's talking uh, third person. They were wrong. Not a good sign. Let's talk about those bad men. Who are the bad men? The men. They they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the lights. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed wasn't okay wasn't the storm like less than 24 hours ago do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men and she's talking about it like Zarya passed into legend I can't say for sure is your friend a survivor I, I played the Macross Sim RPG yes. nice she is 
I'm a big Macross fan. Are you hurt? The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Wow. There is a lot of dialogue here. Okay. Well, it's affordable. I might look into that then. Get out of this town. I need to find help. The old quay closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Did they have earthquakes in Canada? Mother just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. Hmm. You're on your you know that. We both are. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you out, we're going to need to find some food. It's a really fuel. big earthquake in Alaska back in the 50s. I didn't know that. Few days. That's interesting, Kruger. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can. Gray mother and outsider. I swear, it feels like we're in a city and RPG right now. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. But you're currently playing. Yay! So while I'm looking for supplies. Uh you see what you can remember. Pillars of Eternity 2, right? Lights. Deadfire? And if she might have passed. It's supposed to be really good, yeah. That way, maybe we can help each other. I really like the first okay. Pillars of Eternity. Outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. She'll try. Really underrated. Oh my god. There's so much dialogue. <laughs> I wonder if I can click through it. You keep calling me a mainlander. Uh, the voice acting is really good though. Are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? You don't really belong here, do you? The whole thing is short and it is if you just do the main story. I'm like an imbecile. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. The collapse. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline and it was suddenly cut. And so we suffered. She must be talking about the earthquake. I guess I don't know much about that history. Yeah. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it Two down large ones or in the kick 50s, it out of the ground, I was thinking it was actually 64. You? Still talking to Graham Graham. Why don't you give me the pieces of heart? Wait, what is empty? The town seems so quiet. Because empty. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did Okay, so go? the disaster was just last night, that and then the quakes I were a couple of years ago. Say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. You mentioned smelling smoke. I was not expecting this much dialogue in Someone this game. Came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast on foot. When did someone start calling you Outlander and try to drag you in a cornfield? <laughs> but that's what they said to do. After the quakes. How much is this game? I think it's... If there was ever another emergency, go to the coast 
and help will come. They want too much yak yak, not a pew pew. But I'm not ready. <clears throat> they left I think you can get. I think you get a gun oh. eventually. Subnautica with ice. I'm not alone. I have my lily. You named your gun. Lily. Never mind. I'm assuming she named her gun. <clears throat> yeah, I love Subnautica. I was a huge, I was hugely into Subnautica. The power seems out all over town. I got, I got, I got this and Subnautica around the same time. I played this one a few hours. I played the shit out of Subnautica. I did everything I could do in Subnautica back in early access, and then. I kept I kept revisiting it Someone. as they added more stuff back to it, um, but then once it hit once it hit full release, I played through the whole thing. I beat it. I did pretty much everything you can do in that game. So, I know I know I know at least a couple people have mentioned wanting to see me stream Subnautica. I don't think I'd be able to get much out of streaming it again or out of streaming it since I played through it, but. I am planning on getting uh, below zero, the stand like the standalone follow up to it, uh, and probably streaming that maybe when it leaves early access, because I gotta play that. I I, I want more happened? Subnautic in my life. Seems like people were here recently. Yeah, you and everybody else, Bacon Copter. Everybody wants Subnautic multiplayer. Just drive out. This for the forest, I would kill ten cannibals by now and be wearing their bones, skin, armor. <laughs> people started to get cold. This Hungry. this might be why people had complaints they about panicked. the story mode in the long dark. To talk crazy. Others Cuz it was basically like a tutorial walk through the mountains and then like 20 minutes of talking to this lady. Were outsiders like you. Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair. Can I click through this? Had a tan jacket. A scarf. You can't you can't even click through this. You just you just got to sit for it. Was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices, and <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Voices. I lost the voices, and I couldn't get them back. Good God! It just keeps going. Before. You mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? Memories are gray, misty. I'm trying. Not much of a drug dealer then, are they? They windy. consume their inventory. Blizzard was already waking up, but I heard yelling, a scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. Blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. The voices were yelling, free Hong Kong, and then Blizzard woke up. It's all cloudy now. Seen wannabe dealers do that. Never get high on your own supply. 69 minutes later. Oh, God, I think we're actually done. Are there any more words hiding around here? No? Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, find supplies to help keep Gray Mother alive. See on map? Oh my god, I have a map. All right, Gray Mother. Gray Mother. Shortwave Tower. St. Christopher's Church. Okay. This is interesting. I don't remember ever having a map in this game before. S fill Gray Mother's firewood bin outside. Okay. All right, well, let's give this a try. Well, she shot a couple holes in the wall over here. Blizzard woke up from a horrible nightmare that Grim Dawn 2 is announced for the of Path of Exile 2. I, I saw that in Discord. That is, like, legit exciting to me. Um, Path of Exile, like Grim Dawn, is one of those games that I wish I had the time to play. I wish I had the time to really devote to it. 
car real quick. Sometimes there's stuff in the car. In the cars. Empty glove box. Radio's out. Uh, okay. Open the hood. The hell would there be in the hood? Under the hood. Haven't even beaten Path of Exile Default. Honestly, don't think it's for me. Um. <clears throat> oh yeah, Obsol, check uh, check the Game Links channel. Uh, there's a there's a trailer for it. So it looks like what they're doing for Path of Exile. Whoa, what was that? Betrayal. Quick note: str scratch on the back of a scrap of paper. I left him like I promised I would, and I waited here like you asked. Where are you? It's getting too cold to sit here. Pick me up at the old PO when you can, and let's get out of here. If you don't pick me up at midnight, I'm out of here on my own. Okay. Never played it. Okay, so, like... Hopefully I can actually... What the hell is this? All right, can I have... All right, fine. No more cash. Cardboard box. Search the trash. Nothing. Search the drawers. Search the drawers. Ow. I don't... I don't want to use... I don't want to use the flare, because the flare is good for warding off wolves. Ooh. Must be the key to the bank manager's house. Well, that's cool. God damn it. Imagine Diablo, they need more complicated... Now. Shut up. Coffee machine, stack of papers, floppy disks. Don't need any floppies right now. Search locker, come on, useful stuff. More matches, good. Okay. Should probably just go get firewood first. I wanna find like, a light source or something. Something useful. Metal shelf. Bank vaults is locked. Search safe. I don't think I'm gonna find anything useful in here. This will come handy. I mean herbal tea. Whoever blows your hair back. So, okay, I feel like Diablo 3. I need a pry bar for that. I feel like Diablo 3, um, Grim Dawn, and Path of Exile formed like the, the big three ARPGs of this generation. And they all kind of specialize in different things. Like, I feel like Diablo 3's thing was like really visceral combat. Oh, I need to. Um, I need this. Like, Diablo 3 did a good job of looking good and, like, just being really particularly action packed. And, yeah, if you're a bacon copter, you made a whole bunch of money off of it. Um, Grim Dawn. Grim Dawn's my personal favorite. I thought, I thought Grim Dawn just did an absolutely fantastic job of creating a setting. Um, giving you interesting classes to play with, interesting mechanics, tons of loot. Like, I, I felt like it kind of hit all the, like, all the high points for the genre, and, 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 it actually emphasized exploration. Like, there was an actual tangible benefit to exploring maps, because you would, you would find, like, devotion shrines, um, and there were chests that you could actually get, like, seriously good gear upgrades out of. Path of Exile struck me as, like... That was the game that wanted to be the really technical hardcore one. 
because its systems its systems are really unique and really interesting, but so much more complicated. Like, Diablo 3 was, like, the easiest to get into, because, like, the leveling and the builds were super simple. And then Grim Dawn was more... Grim Dawn actually felt more like a proper sequel to Diablo than Diablo 3 did, outside of the story stuff. But Path of Exile kind of forged its own path and, like, kind of went out of its way to be, like, really technical and crazy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, we have to talk to another person. I thought Diablo 3 was a bit limp out of the box. Well, <coughs> Excuse me. Have you escaped the town? Obviously not. Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who, Who talks like that? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. <laughs> I'm here to witness Mr. Future the Dinner of an age. What? what do you mean the passing? Don't you see the signs? Okay, sorry. Before we get too too far off from this, um, <clears throat> yeah, I I played Path of Exile for for a while, um, back when it was. I mean, Path of Exile was never really early access, but I played it when it only had, it had three, it had three acts and I think like three difficulty levels. And I've never, I've never enjoyed the whole difficulty treadmill in RPGs, like the whole thing where in like Diablo 2 where you had to go through normal to get to nightmare to get to hell. I, I never had the patience for that. Ironically, I had the patience for it in Diablo 3. Like, of all... It's weird. Like, I recognize Diablo 3's faults. But that being said, I think it's the Diablo game I played the most. Like, Diablo 1, I beat that game once, and I was done with it. Diablo 2, I beat normal with a couple characters. But I never wanted to get into the higher difficulties. Because it just started feeling really super tedious. Uh, but Diablo 3, I I got to max level and I started doing the the like whatever whatever those difficulty levels were at the very end. Like before before it had like the dynamic scaling and stuff. I also played Path of Exile before it's cool. God, we gotta talk to another person. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna tell you guys right now. I think we're only gonna do this for another like 15 20 minutes and then i'm gonna switch some other games because this is the long dark is a slow game it is a slow burn game but these npcs are somehow slowing it down even more <laughs> so diablo 3 probably had the best gameplay but without the story and atmosphere one and two is really just missing something yeah yeah like diablo one still has my favorite aesthetic like, I was really impressed with the look and feel of Diablo 1. It's hard to play now. It is really, really hard to play now. But I I just enjoyed the way it felt. I enjoyed that, like, that, that really, like, grim, gothic horror it had going on. Diablo 2 was way more fun to play, and it still had the horror elements. I It felt like a good middle ground between, like... Diablo 1's really clunky gameplay and really great aesthetic. It kind of like took from both and found like a good good uh like a good middle ground. I hate repeating words like that. And then Diablo 3 just kind of seemed to go all in on the gameplay, which made it fun to play, and I think that helped me a lot cuz ARPGs to me have to be they have to be vis visceral. The gameplay itself has to grab me. Because other, otherwise I'm not going to want to like click through for more loot and stuff. Um, though I absolutely... I'll, I'll be the first person to tell you the story in Diablo 3 is just an atrocity. It is terrible. So that's why Grim Dawn is my favorite. Because I feel like it has all, all the elements really well-rounded. Uh, Path of Exile has really cool systems. Like the passive grid and the socketing... Um, and I, I love how wide open it is with builds, but that makes it harder to get into. And it also, it feels a bit clunky in the way that Diablo 1 did. 
So the whole thing, the whole thing with Path of Exile 2 is it looks like they're adding, they're basically, it, it seems like they're, they're building a new version of the game, like maybe an improved engine. And then they're going to take Path of Exile 1 and shove it in there along with the new campaign and improvements for Path of Exile 2. So it's going to be like a total package, which I think is really cool. Uh, is MapleStory good? I've actually played a lot of MapleStory. I, you know, I, I work for Nexon, so I can't really... I like it. <laughs> I'm just in a cynical player games that feel like big adventures. Having more obvious RPG loop without me wanting to continue the story kind of takes away from it. Yeah. Like how rewarding Doom Shotgun is. Yeah, that's kind of... I think that's a really good example, Kruger, of, of something that can like just absolutely make the gameplay. Something that feels that good and visceral to use. You know? It's easy to complain about combat being samey in a lot of games, but if you have a weapon that feels that good to use, like I use the shotgun in for most of the encounters in Doom because it felt so good to use. The only ARPG I've had any interest uh, in lately is Hellsign. Haven't bought it, but I'm keeping an eye on it. Hopefully they make that one less grindy. I wanted to like Hellsign a lot, but it was... Um, I, th I think it's to cover where it is in early access right now and the lack of content it has, but it gets really tedious really fast. I know, right? Good idea putting the first game in the second. So that way, if I like, if I come back to it, then I can finally play through the entire first storyline and then get on to the second one. Not that I'm ever going to have time to do that. Grim Dawn did that. I'd probably not like it as much. Do you work on Counter-Strike next on Zombies? Yes. Yes, I did. It's uh, it just came changed to uh, Counter Strike Next on Studio because they put uh, big their big emphasis in it now is uh, uh, the level design. There's the whole studio portion where you can build your own levels and like uh, put all kinds of neat stuff in them. And apparently, that's really that's like their most popular mode now. So they're kind of focusing on that. New Doom or old Doom? Why not both? <laughs> New Doom, definitely. Once I got the double-barreled shotgun, I used that for pretty much everything. Um, but yeah, I mean, the original Doom, like, the shotgun was the workhorse. You used that on anything that was smaller than a Keiko Demon. So, yeah. I said ARPGs, I'm kind of interested in Wilson, but haven't bit the bullet on it yet. It looks cool, but it's apparently kind of sparse. <clears throat> I'm having trouble thinking of like more recent ARPGs that came out. I guess there was that Warhammer 40k one, Mechanicus, or is that is that the turn-based tactics one? Which one? Which one is the 40k ARPG? Turn-based strategy. Okay, never mind. Mechanicus, the XCOM Inquis Ah Inquisitor. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> shotgun and Doom 3 is fucking trash. Yeah, I, I don't even remember what the Shotgun and Doom 3 was like. I remember the assault rifle because it felt so garbage to use. Yeah, that is... Exactly, that's... I don't know that... I don't know... I, I, it's been too long since I played Doom 3 to really say it was bad, but the weapons are definitely underwhelming, and for a Doom game, that's pretty damning. Don't play a gun's not worth your time. I'm gonna check that out because it's by the master geniuses who made hot. Oh wait, um, that's Deathwing, isn't it? Warhammer 40k Deathwing. I heard that one was kind of like they weren't able to. They weren't quite able to cat capture the mad majesty of I for an actual licensed uh, project. I like Doom 3 because the horror is so different. I always love games series that are different. See, I think that's fair. Not a roguelike place to... <laughs> it's okay. All... Most opinions are welcome here. <laughs> I try to be open-minded about these things. Doom 3, the Resident Evil of Doom. Always in closets a game. Oh my god. I guess I should probably maybe actually play this game a bit more. 
Man, I really just don't want to talk to this guy. I gotta be honest, I super don't want to talk to this guy. I just don't care. Let's play something else. Go safely, and good luck to you. Oh, I will. I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Don't worry, buddy. Uh, you can't save. That's interesting. Any unsaved progress will be lost. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> Spell asterid word. <laughs> I is great. I is absolutely magical. The game is so good. I've only beaten it once, so I've never gotten the true ending to it. Oh, what? What is this? Okay. <clears throat> Taking down cyber demons with a revolver. Yes. Yeah, that anti-aircraft revolver you get in that game was just incredible. I love that thing. All right, let me change what we're playing. Um, how? What do I want to call this? What do I want to say we're playing? I kind of don't want to futz with this, so I'm just gonna we're just gonna do games and demos <laughs> for right now. Um, I'll rename this too. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, cool. 444 Bear Killer, yep. And it was modeled, it was mo wasn't that modeled on Decker's gun from uh, Blade Runner, if I remember correctly? All right, I think I'm gonna need a controller from this one. We're gonna play a game called Horizon Chase Turbo. I got this today. Um, it is a racing game, an arcade racing game inspired by the likes of OutRun. So I'm pretty excited. This, this is going to be like a total 180 from what we were just playing. <laughs> oh, have you played it? Have you played it? Not really like it? Yeah, the developer for this one actually contacted me by email. I was like, hey, would you be interested in trying this? I was like, hell yes, I would. Racing it is. Yeah, check this shit out. One player, please. Race against the machine. Okay. Yeah, let me check the options real quick. Uh, hey, it's me. Any Ellis saying none? What the hell's wrong with you? Alias the shit out of it. Have you played the other one? <laughs> it's okay, not a roguelike. That's why we love you. You can be as wrong as you want here. Uh, hey! It's like coming home. Um, I'm starting Los Angeles. Big Orange. Shouldn't that be in Florida? Cruiser for a nice ride at the beach. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's see here. Lower top speed, better handling, so I'll probably go with that one. Uh, you need race bucks to unlock things. Was that a... Oh, no, it's some kind of, like, maintenance van. Big oranges in the White House. hey -o! What kind of cars can you get? Oh, sweet! You can get a VW bus! Some Lambo-looking cars up in here. <laughs> you can get a Mini. Oh, sweet! An old rolls. For a second, I thought this was gonna let you race a shipping container. I would play the shit out of that game. All right. What kind of? Oh my god! Look at that. Let's do this. Why the fuck does a Viper have better handling? Oh, look at this. I don't know any of the buttons or anything. Just so you know. Good luck in the slow lane there, loser. Ah, oh, there's coins to collect. Oh, Jesus. Wow, this really is OutRun. Holy cow. This is totally 3D OutRun. Oh, who is next? 
Oh, there's my nitrous. Oh God, oh Jesus. Okay. Whee! Give me all the money. Driving seems like F-Zero. It is 100% it is outrun. Like, I'm not even sure... I'm, I'm not even sure the entire course is actually modeled. It might, it might work like Outrun. And visually it just appears to be more 3D. Because those, those turns do not feel like actual turns. It's neat though. All right, I got this guy, I can do this. Oh yeah! Wait, where's first? Oh wow, he's way up there. Okay. Oh, it's not working. I don't have any more nitrous. Do you think I can catch this guy? Oh, there he is. There he is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, no! Oh, I had it. I had it and I bumped him instead of passing him. <clears throat> How can you expect other people to hate you if you can't help yourself? Not bad. Not bad. Second place. Some tokens. Some fuel. What are the fuels for? Earn score to advance. Okay. Play the Garfield Racer instead. Uh, I don't think I could bring myself to spend your money on that. I mean, really, do you do you want me? Do you want me to spend sub money on fucking Garfield? Yeah, that's what I thought. Spend it on the quiet man. <laughs> you guys are gonna make me do that eventually, aren't you? Either for Hell Knight, or one of y'all is gonna slip it into a uh, reader's choice, and y'all are actually gonna vote for it. Man, when there's a big crush of cars like that, it is really hard to get past them. Oh God, okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, coins give. Give unto me large coins. Wow! Good luck in the slow lane. Ah, doink. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. This is this is actually really fun. It's simple. It's it's simpler than I was expecting. Like it seems, it seems like as long as you're holding the right direction in a turn, like you're not gonna slide out, like you do an outrun. So it kind of best feeling ever. So in a, in a way, it kind of feels even simpler than outrun did, which is interesting. Like there, I just nitrous boosted into a 90 degree curve, and I was totally fine. So okay. Yo, hello. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta go fast. Oh, hello. All right. All right. All right. Surely I got this. Yes. There we go. Bacon Copter is dead set on Bubsy 2 on Game Boy. Been a fucking Garfield. Use the money you'll now save on beard oil. Yeah, I'm enjoying the music a lot, too. Yay! Where are the cars coming in the other direction in this? Oh, I got a super trophy. Get first place and all tokens to earn a super trophy. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I just, I just had this sudden, intense longing for burnout. I miss the Burnout game so much. The game you were thinking of was Slipstream. Oh. Slipstream is supposed to be pretty good, yeah? I mean, you said you liked it, so. 
Um, let's see. This one seems like a pretty good midpoint between these boyos. Let's give it a try. Oh my god, Magenta. Hell yes, I'm racing a Magenta car. I hate racing games in general, but I still enjoyed Burnout. Yep. To me, like, burn Burnout is just like the gold standard for fun racing games. Like, those, those games are just designed to be enjoyed, you know? Everything about them is just, <laughs> just gleeful destruction. I love them so much. Okay. Okay, that was pretty fun. Oh god, okay. Alright, so it's not, it's not completely simple. We gotta catch up. Mm, okay. Those coins. Whoop! There it is. Give me all the fuel. Boom. Man, accelerating into a curve is just like the best feeling. You don't quite get that here unless you're using your boost, but it's still quite gratifying. Ah, uh, wait, <laughs> the place I belong. It's also really interesting to play a racing game in this day and age that doesn't have, like, drift mechanics. Like, I kind of feel like any any racing game that's at all arcadey kind of has to have drift mechanics now. Oh, I missed that last coin. I'm a failure. Also, I keep collecting that fuel and it keeps coming back. Get out of the road! I think, isn't, for Doom 3, isn't the big difference between like the original game and um, the BFG edition? Didn't they didn't they go ahead and make the flashlight just an attachment for your weapon? So you can keep everything illuminated all the time? I mean, I know people bitched about that, that like the flashlight was a separate thing, but it actually worked really well for the for the atmosphere in Doom 3. Oh, they made the game brighter in general too? That's weird. That's weird. Okay. This is an upgrade race thing. Uh, let's do Sequoia. What other colors do I have here? Yeah, we're definitely doing, we're definitely going with magenta here. This is stupid either way. Yeah, I don't like. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna go out there and say that the like the original flashlight in Doom Three was actually a good idea, but it worked. It worked for what they were trying to accomplish. So, it seems like taking it out without like doing pretty heavy redesign of like the ex the exploration encounters just strikes me as like a really bad idea. Quit doinking me! Quit it! All right, we're going. We're going. This is a really pretty stage. I really dig the art style in this game. Yeah, despite the warnings, I might I might have to revisit Doom 3 someday. I mean, they're all like all the Doom games are in my library. At some point I got to review them, right? Although that that really does just sound like the most useless possible review I could write. 
I've gotten a lot of really positive feedback on the reviews I wrote this week. Um, Abandoned Ship and A Place for the Unwilling. Uh, the developers of both of those took notice on uh, on Twitter and directed a lot of people to them, which I'll, I mean that always feels great. But uh, I've had a, I've had a lot of people in comments and stuff who like they weren't even aware of Abandoned Ship, and they're like, "Oh my god, this this sounds like the perfect game for me! Like I can't believe I can't believe something like this exists." And you know I'm I'm terminally online with this stuff, so I just kind of assumed everybody knew about Abandoned Ship, but apparently that is that is an actual service I can provide people, letting them know about stuff like that. I mean, like I knew nobody knew about A Place for the Unwilling, and so I'm glad I could kind of share that with people. But yeah, it kind of surprised me that I was that I was in a position to inform people about Abandoned Ship. Someone sent a good Twitter army. Yeah, they exist. The the like the indie dev scene on Twitter is actually like really healthy and like really encouraging. There's a lot of cool people that post game dev stuff on uh, on Twitter. That abandoned ship stream was fun, wasn't it? And man, I just I kept I kept having fun with that off stream too. I I was enjoying that so much. Finish third and upgrade races to upgrade all your cars. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's do that. Finish third or better to get an upgrade for all your cars. Yes, please. Take the Magenta Demon. How far did you get? So, um, I I beat. Mm, I don't I don't know how much I should say because I don't want to spoil the game, but. I beat the first big story beat, um, and I got to the part of the game where it kind of opens up and it gives you a bunch of objectives. And I I worked like maybe like half half of the way through those. Well, this is kind of a tough race. Also, all of a sudden the music sounds kind of like super Meat Boy. -y. But yeah, I um I don't know. I was really getting into the progression of Abandoned Ship. Like I was doing, I was doing all the missions and bounties and taking down all the pirates and stuff. I actually managed to get, uh, like, the uh, Man of War, like the the top, like ship hull that you can get in that game. And I was working on upgrading it, and I wasn't even really that far into the plot. But man, it felt so good. It felt so good because I ended up. You guys remember that hull cracker mortar I had, right? I got a second one. And I was just blowing ships apart left and right with those. I also discovered, I also discovered in Abandoned Ship, you can customize the layout of your guns. So you're not locked into just like, like broadside cannons and two mortars. You can actually switch out your broadsides for mortars. You can have four entire mortar cannons on your ship. So if I could somehow find four hull crackers. <laughs> I could do that shit. I don't know if it would actually be a good idea or not, but Yeah, dude. No, there's there's three there's three gun layouts. Um you can do you can do um you can do standard cannon for the broadsides with two mortars and then uh two of like the short range cannons like grape shot or sniper or whatever. You can do four mortars and two of those uh, two small cannons. Or I think you can do two mortars and four small cannons. If you just want to pepper dudes with grape shot. <clears throat> four crack pipes, baby. Upgrade. I could choose. Suspension is plus speed and steering. Speed and nitro, speed and acceleration. Um, I want suspension. All your cars. All your cars are better. All right, let's keep at this. This is really fun. 
This is just like a nice therapeutic racing game. Like something something like Burnout or like the 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 Simier games. Like races can be pretty intense cuz you kind of need to like drill down on the fundamentals and like really pay attention positioning and everything. This this feels a lot more relaxed. Like it it's still got the elements of speed and like maneuvering that are necessary to do well, but I don't know, it just it just feels like a very chill experience and I I'm, I'm really appreciating that right now. You remember 600 hours in Counter Strike Next on Zombies, dude? Oh my god. Glad you enjoyed it, I guess. It's it's an interesting game. Again, I'm not going to comment on it too much cuz, you know, but, uh, <laughs> there's some kind of neat stuff in it. Oh, man, I want those. Okay, I'll have to remember that for... Oh, no, this is the last lap. Oh, well. I have no idea why I'm picking up fuel. I don't think they ever properly explained that. Man, I destroyed that race. Dig the minimal art. High res uh, racing games are visually intense. That's true, yeah. My dad is real big into hardcore racing sims. Like he has the um, he has the F one. He has the F one series that he plays a lot, and like he sh he shows it. He showed it to me a couple times, and man, just the modeling on the cars, the cockpits, the tracks is just incredible. Oh yeah, the zombies mode is still in it. They, they haven't really taken anything out of it. It's just they're focusing more on the studio stuff right now, Dev. Love hardcore racing stuff where you can fully customize cars. So, it's so frustrating. Bankopter, were you, were you a fan of the Gran Turismo series? Because I know there was a lot of that in there. I have, I have Gran Turismo 3 on the PlayStation. And uh, I got into it for a bit, but it was... Um, the customization got really daunting. Did your dad buy a two thousand dollars DLC? No, he didn't. My dad's my dad's big love right now is um, uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild. That one, that one, he has like all the DLC and like multiple maxed out characters and stuff. I never had a PlayStation. Wow. I mean, I can't say anything. I, I only had a PS2 and I only got one like years after it first came out. Forza. Ah, okay. Have you played Project Cars? That's the one. That one looked kind of neat to me. Like real, like just like real slick and polished. All right, not a rogue. Like, thanks so much for coming out tonight. It was great to see you. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow night for Shmup Night. Points, 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 points. I want that classic car I just blew past. Bump, 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 bump. Right. Just so you know, we're not going to do this all night. I'm going to do a couple more races, and then uh, I think we'll switch over to some stuff I got recently. There's some indie games I want to give a try. I bought, um, Fanatical has a really good pick and mix bundle right now. And I actually found five games in it that I wanted to pick up. So we might try a few of those tonight too. Oh, no, 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 there's something else I want to do, actually. Something else I really want to do. Well, we'll talk about it after I'm done with this. I'm still enjoying this very much, so. I'm, I'm in no, I'm in no hurry to change out. But we have we have options, we have possibilities. Oh, it's so it's, it's so nice to be back to streaming. Hack Bubsy 3D on my PSP. Yikes. <laughs> I wonder if I can do anything with those tokens. Or if they're just there for uh 
Oh god, speaking of tokens, I um uh, I think I mentioned Discord. Oh Chile, nice. Uh I've been I've been trying to play more of um Demon Crawl, that um RPG minesweeper game. It's kicking my ass. I cannot beat the first quest. Like, I either get whittled down by monsters, or I'll be doing fine, but I won't upgrade like my armor and stuff, and I'll get one-shotted by something late, late in the quest. We unlocked a new game mode playground. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Okay, let's check out Chile. Atacama. Let's try. Oh, Jesus. This one's like all right angles. Do I have a new car yet? Not yet. Oh, 850. Okay. Would be would be nice if the car unlocks were came a little bit quicker. But I guess we're pretty close to that next one anyway. I'm just I'm just spoiled by uh, burnout and Carmageddon. Have I ever talked about Carmageddon with you guys? I used to play a shitload of Carmageddon too, like an probably an unhealthy amount, and I actually beat it. I don't know many people. Actually, I'm not sure I know anyone that's actually beaten Carmageddon too, because some of those missions are just absurd. But I did it. I was yeah. I had a I had a demo for Carmageddon 2 that I got from uh, PC Gamer. And I was just I was just obsessed with it. Cuz back then, you know, there wasn't Carmageddon had this kind of open world thing going on. Like it wasn't like a full open world game, but it, it was a it was a racing game with like wide open maps. And like they were so they were so interestingly designed, like with so many, oh, get the hell out of my way. I want those coins. Like with so many secrets and like crazy jumps and stuff that you could do that I became obsessed with it and I and I bought it and I played it so much I eventually managed to beat the game proper. Which kind of, honestly kind of surprised me to this day. That last coin. Oh, I guess I got all the coins, huh? Whoop, well, there it is. Go, 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 go. I love the dumb little things your character says. I guess you have to pick up fuel to keep going. It's just, it just works like normal fuel. Weird. <clears throat> He's raising games with stories. Did the Kickstarter Carmageddon ever end up good? I don't know. Because honestly, outside of Carmageddon 2, I never really paid much attention to the series. Because Carmageddon... Carmageddon 3... The reviews for that were like a huge disappointment, so I just ignored it, ignored it entirely. Um, and so I didn't really pay attention to the ones after that. When they ported Carmageddon 1 to mobile... They gave it away the first day it was available, and I got it. And I beat that one, too. Um, it had more in common with Carmageddon 2 than I thought. So, it's kind of silly that I didn't play it, like, back in the day, but I got to it eventually, even if it was on my phone. Anyone here watch any of Death Stranding? Yes. I have gone from, like, totally not caring about Death Stranding to being super interested in it. Um, I watch, I, I only watch like an hour or two of stream, of streams, but it seems very much like the kind of game I would enjoy. Cause my thing, I, I have this huge thing in games about, um, pathfinding. I love pathfinding in games. It's a big reason why I love Far Cry 2 so much. It's a big reason why I like uh, this game Miasmata, which is can only be accurately described as a hardcore walking sim. Seriously, if you're not familiar with Miyazmata, look it up. I'm just gonna go magenta all the way on these things. 
I want to try it kind of by despise Kojima's actual writing. Drives me nuts. Hey, Punchbowl, what's up? Shuffling around packages in uh, Death Stranding right now. Great for lurking. I bet. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm really interested in. I love. I love planning routes. I love exploring. So it it seems like there's a lot of stuff in Death Stranding to find, like both in the world and also like placed by other players, and all of that is just like it hugely appealing to me. So I think when it comes to PC, I'm gonna have to get it and give it a try. I'm, like, I'm honestly surprised. I've never been, like, a huge Kojima fan. I mean, I played... My first real experience with him was Metal Gear Solid 1, and that game was great, right? Um, and then I played Metal Gear Solid 2, and that cooled me on him pretty hard. And so for the longest time, I thought he was pretty overrated. Uh, until... Probably, like, Metal Gear Solid 5... No, what? Well, no. You know what it was? It was PT. PT made me realize that the dude is like a genius game director. He's just not that good of a writer. <laughs> I mean, he's got really, he's got really interesting ideas. It's just the way he expresses them is not all, not, not all interesting. I distracted myself by complaining about Kojima. Should have known better. Go, 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 go. Ah, I missed the coins. Damn it all. Go, 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 go. PT is the most overrated demo of all time. No, it isn't. It really isn't. It's one of the most effective demos of all time. It is shockingly effective in what, in what it sets up to do. I, like, I, I went into PT expecting to be disappointed. I went into PT expecting to think like that, honestly. To think like, oh, it's just, it's just Kojima fans, like, going nuts over him branching out or whatever. And then I played it and it scared the fuck out of me. Like, PT creeped me out so bad I could not deal with it. And it made me realize the guy really knows what he's doing in terms of gameplay experiences. He doesn't know what he's doing in terms of writing. He absolutely does not. <laughs> but he's got, he's got that kind of writing that sounds like... He's got that kind of writing that entices people to dig into it and try to, like, pick out all the nuance. The, that whole, like, deep lore thing. But in terms of just like raw gameplay and game design, like he's incredible, to be fair. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not I'm not really disagreeing with you, RD Smokey. I'm not I, I don't think I'm I'm quite as unimpressed with his writing as you are, but yeah. I honestly doubt there's been a more impactful demo than PT. Demos aren't usually actually no. Yeah, I completely agree. Dialogue is bad, but the themes in the writing is pretty solid. I can I can kind of see that. I don't know. I don't I don't have nearly as much experience with Kojima games as a lot of you do, so I should probably re refrain from saying too much. Oh, I unlocked a new car, didn't I? Best Metal Gear game is for Vengeance anyway. That was a lot of fun. Death Stranding has actually made me more interested in going back and trying Metal Gear Solid 5, which I have, thanks to the incredible generosity of one of you. And also, um, one of our subscribers has requested a playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 5, so it's probably something we're gonna go through here. I just need, Jesus Christ, look at these Moai heads. Also, I did not take that corner well. No jackass. Uh, I don't want to do that. The hard part of this game is figuring out when you can use your boost. We got kind of a straightaway coming up here. After this turn. Oh, and then we got let off. Okay. Okay, that seemed to work out. 
Man, the music on the stage is great. I really like this. The rules. I win, you lose. Oh god, oh Jesus. There we go. We gotta catch up. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Ah! Bastard. Alright, final lap. Yes! Here we go. Okay, but I'm out of boosts. Okay, I can't screw this up. I guess we're okay on fuel. Hopefully. Oh, this part. Oh, no! Cheesy creasy. That was a tough curve. How about a cup of co No. I hate coffee. I really do. I hate coffee. I never drink it. Woo! <laughs> How much was you mean this game? Tea for days, but I need coffee this time of year. Yeah, I don't I don't really do any kind of caffeinated drinks. I drink Coke every once in a while, but that's just more for the flavor, not the caffeine. Uh let's see. Differentials gearbox. I do want acceleration. There's nothing wrong with improving steering further. Um, I should probably move on from this, but I'm really enjoying it. I tell you what, we'll, we'll play this for another five or 10 minutes and then we'll move on to something else. Wait, did I miss one here? Yeah, I did. I haven't got Alma. Only drink Coke Classic. That's the Coke that does cocaine in it. I need 1500 for the next one? Jesus. Yeah, the, I think there's, I, I definitely think there's too much time between car unlocks in this one. I, I think this one, I think, I want to say this one's like $10. I don't think it's particularly expensive. It's been out for about a year. So you could pr probably also get on pretty decent discount too. But yeah, I like, I like this a lot so far. I mean, obviously it's a, it's, it's arcade racing. And it's a very specific kind <coughs> but I really like what they've done with it oh this one has like day night cycle that's cool uh. oh hello god damn it <laughs> Traffic here is terrible. It's like LA traffic. Oh, I'm in eighth. I probably shouldn't have done this. Oh my oh my god, it actually worked out. If your reflexes are good, you can kind of boost wherever you want and make it work. Because the way cornering in this game works. You can mostly take corners at full speed. Okay, I, I see the straightaway I should be using. And, oh, what the hell, dude? You suck. Driving like my grandmother, and she's dead. Ah! Oh, that was karma. Sorry, Grandma. There we go. Okay. Woo. <sighs> Speaking of death, I've been I uh, I started playing Blasphemous last night. That game, mm, so good, so good. Mexican Coke is close to perfect. I love it. Cane sugar Fantas. Yeah, high fructose corn syrup. We'd all be better off without that shit. 
Yeah, everything about it is gross. Like, the actual flavor of it, the politics surrounding it. Yeah. Fortunately, like, here in LA, um, we're so extravagant. A bunch of uh, a bunch of like upscale burger places and fast food places, they don't do Coke products anymore. They do like they do like local natural sugar sodas, and it's so good. There's a burger place uh, really close to my work called Hop Dotties. It's like one of these like premium fast food places, like expensive ass burgers, but they are so good, and they've got like just this absolutely amazing soda. Uh, will you ever add text-to-speech text voice that reads messages when bits are received? That seems like it's just asking for trouble, but I will consider it. I will consider that. All right, tell you what, let's move on to another game, because I'm still I'm still a ways off from uh, unlocking another car, but I'm liking this quite a bit so far. This is, this is quite a bit of fun, and it seems like there's plenty of content, too. California, Chile, Brazil, South Africa... Oh God, oh God. Iceland, Greece, UAE, India, Australia, Hawaii, Japan, China. Dude, and 33 cars to drive. And there's DLC. And what's the playground? A selection of limited time races with all sorts of game-changing twists. Really? All right, actually, let me try one of these real quick. Nitro coins, restricted cars, less laps, mirrored, extra nitro. That doesn't sound that interesting. Let's try this one. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna take this thing. Let's send bits and put behind you. Mexican apple soda and bimbo donuts. That sounds great. Uh, this thing does not handle that well. <laughs> hey, go renew your license. Oh God. Well, wow, that worked out. Wow, that was great. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, I just missed a boost, too. Get the fuck out of my way! God, y'all suck. Ah! Yeah, doink me. I'm done doinking you. Mm. Okay. Boy, these guys are aggressive about being assholes here. Oh god, I'm running out of fuel. Woo. Alright, that wasn't as game-changing as I was hoping, but it was fun. That was pretty fun. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's do... I was thinking about doing the garden story demo, but I don't really feel like anything low-key at the moment. I think I had enough low-key with uh, with the long dark. So I think what we're going to do... I think what we're going to do... I think we're going to play this. We're gonna play Jij. I got this from the uh, from the fanatical pick and mix bundle. I've been wanting to play this for a while. Um, I got a bunch of cool stuff. I got Pony Island. I got Rogue Wizards. I got uh, Tesla versus Lovecraft. I got uh, Equilinox. Whoa. Okay. Hello. It's the Jij. Let me check the. Yeah. Not that one. That's pretty loud. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. No, you don't. No, you absolutely don't. 
put you there. Yeah, I definitely want to play Pony Island. I was a big fan of... Um... I had to turn this down on my end, too. Jesus Christ. I was a big fan of the Hex. Uh, yeah, okay. Wait, what was that? Screen sh I love it. Screen shake. None default massive. I'm gonna have to try massive later. All right. Let's play some G. -G. Channel Neon reporting live from the crime Massive. Scene. Multiple citizens are being held hostage as the crime lord and tightens his grip on the city. We're here with the head of Edinburgh Police, Chief. With crime waves reaching all-time high, do you think now is the time to launch the Judge Initiative? The Judge? Yes. Send in the Judge. <laughs> nice. The Dawn of Judgment. Sweet, okay. Rescue the hostages! Uh, okay. Surprise attacks will deal extra damage. I don't even know what the attack button is. I figured out what the attack button is. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, God. What happened to me? That place called the Noodle Biscuit. Hey, Cold World Steel, what's up? Sure is. The noodle biscuit is no longer secure. Get out of the area, citizen. Get out of the area, citizen. Confiscate. Oh, there was an explosive barrel like right here. Wait, I want to. I want a key. Get back to the vehicle. Hang on. Oh wait, I see a chest in here. Maybe that has a key. Noodle Biscuit is either the best or worst name for a strip club. What if I just... Boom! Ow! Okay, I caught, I caught myself on fire. I'm sure it's fine. Man, let me in. What do you all want? Okay, they have been judged. Definitely based off Neon Chrome, yeah. Six months later? Well, holy time skip. Welcome to Judge Control Center. Play missions, earn medals, and confiscate credits to unlock more powerful gear and features. Okay. Cyber augmentation modules now activated. Configure judge to your liking. Uh, we go on cyber. Reduces incoming damage. All citizens have more health. Wow, okay. Alright, see you later, Dev. It's good to see you. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night, 10 p.m. for PS2 Shmup Night at last. Finally, we'll be playing our type final in Gradius 5. He has that English old timey judge hair, right? Isn't that great? Um, let's just reduce incoming damage. Let's make it simple. Uh, okay. My weapon is a gavel. That's awesome. 81 shots fired, six perps executed, reloaded four times, lead bullets. <laughs> I love this. Um, okay, I need medals for that. All right, here we go. All right, so we did the Dawn of Judgment. Now we're doing house arrest. A group of thugs have taken a family hostage in the retro tower suburbs. Save them. Rescue hostages. Loot all containers. Exit in 20 seconds. Your move, creep. Prepare to be judged. Hey! Oh, God. <laughs> Mistrial. <laughs> Your... 
Hey, Damien, what's up, buddy? Oh, 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 if you kill, if you accidentally kill a hostage, you die. It's me, it's me. Um, it turns out my beard was interfering with my internet. As soon as I shaved it off, everything was fine. <laughs> it's <laughs> Udish. Okay, so I need to be doing this more carefully. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Leave the area, citizen. I guess I did it? Oh, wait, dudes. Oh my god, check this out. We're on top of like a massive building. That's really cool. Are you a bad guy? Yeah, you're a bad guy. Past tense, you were a bad guy at one point. Yeah, the power the power of that beard could not be denied. Great and terrible was its majesty. Sentence executed. Oh, I got money. And I got medals. Citizens may not always choose to run to the direction you would like to. You can gently nudge them to choose a proper route. You fire mode, shotgun. Fires a herd of hot lead, very brutal at close range. Show me. Show it to me. I think we should brutalize. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't have enough... I don't have enough, uh... Money to expand my cyberware. So I get special fire at three metals and gavel mods at eight. Bank robbery. Ooh, bank robbery. These bank robbers open the wrong safety deposit box. They need to die. Eliminate the targets. Destroy all enemies. Don't take any damage. We engage. Ah, cute. Mr. Pink, Mr. Black. That's a Reservoir Dogs reference. Uh, is there a back way into this place? Yes. Check this music out. Oh god, bad time to reload. <laughs> Nice. That's how it's done. Uh, I want to get in there. I just want to loot all the stuff. <laughs> it's like when they named the third fear for three year. Yeah. One of my favorite things was they named the AI in. Um... Oh, so we need that to unlock it. Door permanently unlocked. In uh, Tron 2.0, they named they named the AI in the game something like that, but they actually pronounced it that way. It was like M3 A something, and they called her Mathria. I thought that was really cute. Oh, I screwed up. I beefed it. Beef my meddling. Bullet dodging. Hacking tool required? Since when? Ooh, that's a lot of money. Confiscated. For police. For jidge business. Which game is this? This is Jige. J-Y-D-G-E. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't not say it like an asshole. <laughs> I wish I wish I could, but. Enemies cannot see you while you remain in the dark. Show me. Um okay, so we're gonna. We're gonna unlock that. And then cyberware. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Turn this into a stealth game. Gavel, uh, we have special fire now. Introducing special weapons to bigger and meaner than regular fire modes, but have limited uses. Heavy rickets? Oh my god, look at all these. Oh man. This is cool. Office retaliation. Yeah, now I have rickets. Rescue the hostages, exit in 30 seconds, don't take any damage. A few influential citizens have been taken hostage at the Cyber Hans office. Make sure the hostages make it to the elevator. Okay. So I think the thing to do here is murder everyone first and then let the hostages go. What is this? Okay, so you need a hacking tool to get through those. Boom. That feels really good. Just like, ambush these dudes. This definitely feels like Neon Chrome, but more, I guess more well thought out. Like Neon Chrome with a little bit of Hotline Miami. Oh. Oh god. Shit. Bad time to reload. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. Can't go through there. Asshole going around giving people rickets instead of killing them. <laughs> Thought I could get away with it. Neon Chrome was. I think Neon Chrome was designed to be more of a roguelike. Um, okay, so that's that key. I realized that wall was glass. I think that's everybody? Where are you? Oh, healthful, nice. <clears throat> Run to the exit. Get out of here. Leave the area, citizen. That's cute. Get out of here. Boom. I did it! Victory is mine! tool. I hate not being able to get into every part of a level. Since I mentioned um, Tron 2.0 earlier, that was a really interesting first-person shooter. Uh, it had elements of like Deus Ex in it, because levels tend to be pretty open, um, and you could interface with different terminals. And there were like loot containers where you could get subroutines for your weapons to modify how they worked, which is really cool. Except you had like a power, you had like a power gauge that you would use for like special weapon attacks, but you also needed it to open stuff and you needed it to hack stuff. So you had all this cool stuff you could do with your special weapons, but you never wanted to do it because you wanted to always have that power in reserve so you could like unlock doors and chests and stuff. And I always thought that was kind of a shame. The Long Dark has plasma fire now. Hey, Cornuda, what's up, buddy? We're playing Jij. Uh, the Long Dark story mode is glacially slow. I... We did it for about an hour and a half, <clears throat> and then I played a Outrun-like uh, called Horizon something something that I already forgot. And now we're ending the night with Jij. It's Liam, the laser drone. I don't think I actually want a laser drone at the moment, but thanks for offering. Um, and we're not on gavel mods yet. Right on the streets. Peace in the sheets. I like Jij, but I preferred Neon Chrome. I'll have to play more of both. 
to really get a feel for him. I think this one might actually be more my speed. I like Neon Chrome, but I kind of like the, the, the almost Hotline Miami-ish strategy involved here. Both at the same time, I know, unheard of. Eliminate the leader, loot all containers, exit 25, that's not happening. It's Rayron. What's up? Ooh, that hurt. I can blow my way in through there. Let's not do that. Okay, one shot kills these green-haired dudes. Sometimes. Oh, that was terrible. Oh god. Oh, that's melee. What's my, what's my rickets? Oh God. Okay, I found him. I found him. Whew, okay. Did you not hear all that commotion outside? I guess not. Oh, I guess, okay, I guess it's one shot if you sneak up on them. Comes down to matter of taste, yeah. Yeah, they're very similar games in in terms of gameplay, but the the actual style. You've been judged harshly. There's the riot leader. Whoa. Hey, why? Gotcha. All right, we need to loot all the containers. This is cool. I can actually blow up walls in this. That makes me happy. Oh God, Rayron. Rayron, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my Lord. All right, let's try that again. I wish they'd do another Dread Movie 2, Kruger. I absolutely loved the last one. It was so good. I feel like they really captured the spirit of Dread with that one. Oh, shit. Quit reloading. Containers already looted this time? Hard to tell. Alright, he did. Oh god! That was a grenade. Reminds me of the alien shooter games. Love those. I yeah, I played a couple of those. They were a lot of fun. All right. All right. Rayron dies this day. Oh God. Rayron does not die this day. Damn it! <laughs> Come on, kill Rayron. I want to defeat Rayron. I feel like that elite movie dread. Hey! Oh crap. So you're saying you feel you feel like the Alita movie and Dread movies were both better than they could have they uh, than they might have ended up. I really like Dread. Alita was okay. Like I'm like I'm a big fan of the comic, 
So the whole time I was watching that movie, I was just thinking about like all the stuff that was different. So I don't know if I was necessarily the, the target demographic for that. But it was alright. I wonder I wonder if I should do this. I probably shouldn't do this. Run! Damn you, Ray Ron! Almost got it. Yes! There we go. Woo! Okay. I'm sure I've seen the Stallone one. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. The Carl Urban one is fantastic. It's it's really, really good. I was also thinking of ScarJo in the Shell. <laughs> I hated the Ghost in the Shell movie. I absolutely despised it. Cyberware. Woo. Woo. Give me that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be like a super tanky jij. Um Gavel mods. What do we got? Gavel. What we created was something special. Piece of art yet traditional. Even ceremonial. Self-sustained and virtually unlimited primary ammunition. Multiple deadly fire modes. I love this voiceover. The gavel. My friend. Get ready to deal some sweet, ruthless justice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so good. You can now install weapon mods to boost the gavel. Enjoy! Your dad liked this. is probably put together well enough for a non-fan. So good. Alright, what do we got? Reload plasma. Fires 360 degree plasma bolts each time you start reloading? Yes, please. Yes, please. Awfully, 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 awfully. How many, how long is this game? Act two, act three, act four. Four acts. Four or five missions each? Nice. We've located the Cobra Gang hideout lab. Destroy their prototype death machine before they unleash it to the streets. <laughs> That's a town in Wales. That's not much of a death machine. Oh, we are butt rocking this one. Justice is being dispensed. Hell of a shootout. Ah! What makes these guys think they can take on a judge? It seems like demonstrably poor judgment on their part. Oh, I know the key. You look innocent. Hmm. Where's the key for this dumb place? Mm. You know what? I don't need a key. I've decided the keys are overrated. Confiscate all your shit. Look at this. Oh, it opens those doors. Cool. You know what? Fuck your whole hideout. Really? Oh, I have to hack that. It kind of doesn't matter if you can't 
blow up locked doors, because you can just blow up everything around the locked doors. Oh, it's death time. This guy's tough. Damn. Ow. Alright. Boss man's down. Now we just have to get the death machine. Uh, which is where exactly? Oh, there you are. The hell are you doing out there? Dude. Holy moly. Well, they named it appropriately. Yeah. How's that for bullet, Helen? Oh no! Homeless guy got killed. More shmups, yeah. I should do more shmups. I should do more of a lot of things. Your projectiles won't harm citizens. Your explosions might. The dawn of judgment. Heavy laser fires fat segments of laser which bounce off of walls. Very accurate. Show me. Show me the laser. I want it. Desire it. Hashtag judge for yourself. Channel Neon. This is Channel Neon with a special report. The city of Edinburgh is getting safer as the controversial judge initiative keeps rolling out more units to the streets. <laughs> Great for hostage Dubbed situations. The Crime Reaper. The, judge the, crime is Reaper. the new efficient <laughs> form of law and order. That's awesome. More people are applying for the Edinburgh citizenship as the city is indeed turning out to be the promised urban paradise. Urban this paradise. This was Channel Neon, your trusted source of news. New hardcore difficulty unlocked. Experience the scenarios in new ways and earn more medals. Shock orb. Show me. Uh, but I really like my rickets. Yeah, maybe not right now. Alright. Ah, so more medals now. Hardcore medals. Rescue the hostages. Uh, the positions on the map change. Rescue hostages, don't take any damage, destroy all enemies. Let's do it. I mean, we've got this lizard now. We might as well use it for a uh, proper hostage situation. It's fine, don't worry about it. Everything's cool. <laughs> wow, dude. Run to the exit. Run to the exit. I love that computer Get voice. Out Get out of here. It's so good. Dude. Dude, the laser is so good. <laughs> I think I just aced the hardcore mode of this. Run to the exit. <laughs> it really was great for hostage situations. Tactical view. The game view is top down and the camera's pulled back a bit. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Killing heals. Heals 10 hearts each time your projectiles kill a target. Rapid fire. Holy moly. All right, well, we're gonna add an extra mod slot because we can. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make a rapid fire laser. <laughs> 
Uh, so I can just dispense as much justice as efficiently as possible. Um, I'm gonna do the Cobra Gang hideout again, actually. Destroy the death machine, collect evidence, don't get spotted? I wonder if I could do this one in 30 seconds, now that I have all this uh, hardware. Yes, I think I can. 26 seconds. <laughs> Love it. Hacking tool, show me. I want it. I want it immediately. Um. Yeah, we'll swap. We'll swap that out. So then. Let's try this. Don't get spotted. How the hell is that supposed to work? Collect evidence. Hacked. Technically, I haven't been spotted yet. Kind of a surprising way to handle stealth, but I mean it's working. Okay. Oh, that guy has shield. Interesting. Killed Naga. Holy moly! Impressive many aliens comics, what the hell? Good for you. I'm happy for you. Oh, the money. The money flows like water. Love it. Um, let's go ahead and handle Mr. Death. Lasers bounce off of glass. Interesting. Interesting how it changes fire modes like that. Oh, that's cool. I can use the reflect laser to hit him from around corners. Where'd you go? Hey, get over here, dickhead. All right, well, I guess all we really need to do is you should not have popped that glass. That was your mistake. Last piece of evidence, and we should be good. <laughs> Get over, dick over here, dickhead. Mortal Kombat's even edgier reboot. Uh, I want that. Here, shoot this. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't working. The evidence. Come to skit. I'm liking this a lot. This is really fun. Yeah, I think I prefer this one to Neon Chrome, honestly. I also I also have um, uh, Tesla versus... Lovecraft versus Tesla, or whatever the hell that game is. So I'll have to give that a try, too. Stun grenades... 
Sandman, each shot has a 15% chance to stun. Tesla versus Love Clara, thank you. Piercing lead, your non-shotgun lead projectiles pierce through walls, do not affect laser plasma or ion hall. Cool. Let's, let's get, let's get a mission or two into act two and then I think we'll call it a night. Oh wait, did I, I already watched that, huh? All right, shift from hell. Survive through the shift in a very bad neighborhood. Survive 50 seconds, don't take any damage, loot all containers, no problem. It's gavel time. Do you need to be rescued? Hello. Well, I fucked that up. I didn't realize I was standing right next to a wall. Holy moly. Wow, okay. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Buddy, I'm really sorry about this, but you are going to die. How did he not die? <laughs> How is that dude not dead? Okay, I survived, but I want the money. And I want the containers. <laughs> My hubris is gonna be the death of me, isn't it? All right, fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Level's a nightmare on hardcore? Let's try it. Riot shield that blocks all frontal damage up to... That would probably be useful for that mission. Survive 60 seconds. Nope. Oh, I need 20 medals for the next one. Ah, okay. Interesting. Interesting that you can't, you can't really go just straight through the game. You have to go back. Why do I have to be Mr. Pink? Okay, this is a very interesting musical selection. Where are you going, buddy? What's your bright idea? Oh, hey. What up? <laughs> Half of that door is gone. The run area is here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to confiscate. I love confiscating. Oh, God, I really am a cop, aren't I? Might have overdone that. <laughs> Might have overdone that slightly. <laughs> too real. It's too close to home. Oh, the money. Oh, the money. Shower me in justice funds. Alright, I guess we're good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Too good. Look at all that money! This is what Gistus really is about. Ion fires ion bolts that deal damage to all enemies near the projectile. That could be cool. Mechanical spider spawns a mechanical spider to age. I remember those from Neon Chrome. You can pop the ATMs open too? Oh, damn. Ah, I'm still one short. Um, let's see. I really like my rickets. 
I really like everything I've got going on here. Although, plasma I, or ion could be cool. Damage eight. Let's try it. Um, can unlock this. And I'm just, I'm intensely curious about this tactical view. Let's give this a try. All right, let's do maybe two more missions and then I think we're good for now. We'll do office retaliation and then the next one uh, in act two. Don't get spotted, <laughs> seriously. I have, I have the wrong setup for that. Yeah, that just straight didn't kill him fast enough. That's fine. It's a neat idea for a weapon, but it doesn't kill fast enough. It is very pretty. And I mean, that counts for a lot when you're murdering tons of dudes. Oh god, I almost, I almost iced, and ho iced a hostage there. Crack. Yeah, I Ion is a no-go for me. This guy's running. Ophis, buddy, you fucked up. Okay, yeah. No, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much, in fact. Okay, all enemies down. Run to the exit. Run to the exit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Leave the area. Leave, them. Leave the area. Oh my god, I almost killed that person. Reloading my stupid gun. All right, see you later, Cornudo. Thanks for coming out tonight, buddy. I mean, we're, we're, we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna do one more mission after this. After looting, I have to loot things. I play games to loot things. Can never, never lose sight of that priority. Also, I really like the music on the stage. I really like the music in this game in general. It's really quite good. All right. Ooh, speed increase. I barely noticed the tactical view, too. So I'm gonna buy this and equip it. And that will be that. Extra specials, yes. Yes. Can we yes? Uh, yeah, I can go and set that stupid reload plasma. And then we are going back to Lizard. You can upgrade them. Holy cannoli, you can upgrade them. Oh my god. This is gonna be some harsh ass judgment. Save the hostage exit in 15 seconds, don't get, no. Nope. This is not how I operate. Not, not how we do things in these parts. Yeah. Unseen failed. Do tell. Oh my god, I think laser... I think laser one-shots now. Ooh. Wonder if the weapons get tiered upgrades where after upgrade five it adds an effect. That would be 
nothing about the UI suggests that, but I would really like that to be the case. I'd be very happy if that was the case. Wow, you literally dodged a bullet there at first. <laughs> but then you didn't. Rip you. Run to the exit of here. the area, citizen. Sport. Alright, citizens rescued, yes, good. Wait, no, I want to kill this guy, too. Wait, huh? Hmm, I can fix this. I can't fix this. Damn it. Where's the red key? So welcome back, Dev. We're almost done. This is the last mission I'm doing for tonight. Um, but I'm determined. I have to find this red key. I have a blue key. What would the blue key open? Something seems off about all this. What engine was Counter Strike next on? Yeah, it's it's basically the same as Counter Strike 1.6. the old side. Ah, whatever. I can't figure this one out. Does that? No. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I didn't unlock anything. Glitch Isle. That's interesting. The May 18th. Oh. Got some Akira shit going on, too. Arcology construction site. This is cool. This is very cool. I like this a lot. All right. I think we've had... I think we've had enough fun for tonight. Undead Horde, a game of necromancy from the creators of Jij. Zone names are some of the best zone names. They really are. Oh, all right, guys. I think, I think we've had a good time. I think we all, I think, I think we all learned something tonight. No fun allowed. <laughs> not on streams. You're not allowed to have fun on streams. Okay, so, um, I've been watching the internet connection all night. We had like one drop. All night, which means I think I think that means it's fixed. I think we're good. So. We're going back to our regular schedule. Uh, tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Pacific, we're hopping on this baby here. I'm gonna get out R-Type Final and Gradius Five, and we're gonna play the shit out of those, okay? Um, Monday, Monday, I'm gonna start up Metal Wolf Chaos. And I believe it's like a six hour game or so. So the tentative plan is to start it Monday, finish it Wednesday. Friday, if you guys are ready, if y'all, if everybody's cool, we'll go ahead and do Ring Fit Hell Knight, because I know everybody's been on pins and needles for that one. And then next Saturday, a week from tomorrow, we will finally, finally, finally start Vagrant Story on PS PS One, and that's going to consume our Saturdays until we finish it. So uh, that's the plan. Now that internet is back and stream works, we can get back to living our best life. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, it was great to see all of you. Thank you for the subs and the bits and the follows and all the other cool stuff that y'all do here. Let me, um, let me see who's around tonight. If we're gonna raid somebody. Hmm. Let me see if anybody's doing long dark. Hmm. 
This guy's doing a survivalist challenge. Let's go check his channel out. I don't know anything about this dude, but might be cool. You never know. Um, yeah, you do need to get the fuck to sleep. I do too. Are you going to bail too? <clears throat> well, we'll do a little raid. Little raids are better than no raids. So anyway, thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. Um, hopefully I will see you tomorrow night for PS2 shmup night. So yeah, thanks everybody. Uh, it was great seeing you. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.